welcome back to Sunday School. I hope you had a wonderful week, and I want to wish you and your family a very happy Easter. You know, my message to you today is going to be very short. I'm hoping that you'll spend a lot of time today worshiping with your family. You know, just as we celebrate new life in Michigan during the springtime, like with bunnies being born, or fresh blossoms blooming on trees, or even butterflies beginning to break out of their cocoons, we as Christians celebrate the second chance that we have been given to have a relationship with God. By Jesus dying on the cross for our sins and his victory over death, we were given a new life. This is a fresh start, a new beginning with our sins all forgiven. We're able to start all over again and create a new relationship with God. So what does this look like? Well, it begins with understanding and believing that God sent his son, Jesus, to die for our sins on the cross. And also to believe that he was resurrected and that today he sits on the right-hand side of God in heaven. The, all of this belief is called faith. As you'll see in today's video, after Jesus died and rose again from the dead, he appeared to about 500 people before rising again into heaven to be with God. He spent about 40 days um, meeting up with his disciples and other people and showing them the wounds that he had suffered on the cross, the wounds on his hands, the wounds on the side of his body, to prove to them that he had resurrected from the dead. But you know, through faith, we are the ones that God spoke about in the Bible when he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. You see, we haven't physically seen Jesus, and yet we believe in him. So each day, you can draw closer to God by talking to him through prayer, by reading the words in the Bible. You know, in the Bible, he speaks to us, each one of us, teaching us and guiding us. Also, you and I have been given opportunity to reach out to others and to welcome them into God's family. You can let God shine through you. So what does this look like? Well, lead a life that's pleasing to God. Watch the words that come out of your mouth. Are they loving? Are they kind? How do you treat other people? Are you loving towards them? Are you kind? Do you forgive them as, as God has forgiven you? Finally, what path are you on? Do you make wise choices? With God by your side, you can be what you believe. So today, there's a video attached for you along with some activities. I've also attached a song for you that's going to reinforce what I just told you about, being what you believe in. Why don't we close in prayer? Please bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to earth. Because of his death and resurrection, our sins can be forgiven and we can have a good relationship with you. Continue to watch over each one of us, guiding us and protecting us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, my Bible verse memory challenge to you today comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ God forgave you. You have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Bye for now.